We've got news of epic upgrades to the iPhone 13 series, and I'll be sharing the details right after this. Today, we've got some great news of epic upgrades and features to the Apple iPhone 13 lineup that really are going to please. Before we get started though, please like the video if you're an Apple fan, and let me know in the comments what your favorite Apple device is. So the first story of the day is about the incredible new 3 nanometer chipset. TSMC is on track to move to 3 nanometer technology for fabricating Apple's chipsets, which of course means faster and more efficient chips. This is of course for 2022, however, and it's not going to be in this year's iPhone. The iPhone 13 it uses the A15 chip, which is still a 5 nanometer chip, but it's fabricated on an enhanced process to deliver more power and efficiency than the A14. Now next up, we've got news that Apple plans to scan your photos not only on the iPhone 13, but on all iOS devices. Now to be clear, unfortunately, this is true, but it's also for a good cause. It's to protect children from abuse, and basically it's only going to scan your iCloud images against their database in order to flag up anything that could be suspicious. And the scanning is also going to be carried out on the device itself, so it is protecting your privacy. So it's not going to be scanning your photos for everything, and if you don't have iCloud, cloud photos enabled, then it's not going to scan anything. There will be lots of mixed opinions on this. It's for a good cause, but at the same time, it does have its privacy issues. Now, personally, I think if that's all it's doing, then there's no issue. We just need to make sure they don't start changing policies and start scanning for other reasons and adding more databases to reference other activities. Now on to the iPhone 13. Mark Gurman from Bloomberg has advised of plenty of great features coming to the iPhone 13, and they're all what I wanted to see. Now, firstly, it looks like we'll be getting an always-on display, something I always use on other phones, and although we do have it on the watch, it's always been missing from the iPhone. Now, thanks to the iPhone 13's larger battery capacities and the more advanced displays, Apple are finally going to be introducing always-on display so that we can see the time as well as other useful notifications at all times on the screen. Now that the whole range is using OLED displays, it makes sense to bring this feature to iOS. Mark Gurman also advises that the iPhone 13 is going to be adding more features for photo and video to further improve on the cameras. For a start, we're getting a portrait video mode, so for those of you that do like those blurred backgrounds in your photos, you can now do this in video. And while there are iOS apps out there already that do this, they don't do it that well, and Apple's inclusion of the feature is no doubt going to produce much better results. The feature is apparently called Cinematic Video Internally, which is a bit of a strange name to call it, and it will of course use the LiDAR scanner to achieve the effect. There are still rumors floating around that all of the iPhone 13s are going to have LiDAR scanners, but of course, if they don't, then this feature is going to be restricted to the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The new feature is also coming to FaceTime, but again, that's only going to be for compatible devices. Now, Mark advises that the iPhone 13 is also going to be coming with ProRes video. It's basically a higher quality video recording that's going to allow for better editing in post. It's pretty much pro raw for photos, but they've made it for the video. He also advises that we're getting more advanced photo filters on the iPhone 13, and these new filters are going to apply more precise changes to individual objects in a photo using artificial intelligence rather than just throwing a filter over the whole image. With all these new features and better hardware, we're also going to need more battery capacity and luckily we have that. ZDNet just issued a report with the upgraded battery capacities for the iPhone 13 series and they match exactly what I've been telling you for weeks. I'm not sure why this news seems to be making the rounds on the blogs as Digital Chat Station already leaked the information thanks to 3C certification, so it's very likely to be true. But the information says that the iPhone 13 mini has a 2406 milliamp hour battery, the iPhone 13 and the 13 Pro have a 3095, and the iPhone 13 Pro Max has a 4352 milliamp hour battery, so it's all reasonable upgrades from last year's models. But overall, the iPhone 13 is looking incredible, and it's exactly what I wanted to see from Apple. For those of you excited for the phone, we're now going to run through the full specs, design, and the pricing of the whole range to help you guys decide if this is the phone for you. For my regular viewers you guys have already seen this so just skip on to the next video but if you are new here then hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it 
So first up, we've got the iPhone 13 mini. With the iPhone 13 mini, we get a 5.4 inch OLED display. It's expected to have a 2340 by 1080 resolution, and this gives us 465 pixels per inch, but it's only gonna be a 60 hertz display. On the front, we get a notch that's gonna house the selfie camera and face ID. And on the back, we get a dual camera setup with a wide and an ultra wide camera. It will of course be powered up by the new A15 Bionic, and it's expected to come with four gigabytes of RAM and a choice of 64, 128 or 256 storage. It's coming with a 2,406 milliamp hour battery with at least 20 watt fast charge and it will support wireless charging. We get Bluetooth, 5G and Wi-Fi 6, and the phone is of course gonna ship with iOS 15. I'm expecting the iPhone 13 mini to start from around $700, but I'll update the price as soon as we get an accurate leak. Next up, we get the standard iPhone 13. With the iPhone 13, we get a 6.1 inch OLED display. It's expected to have a 2532 by 1170 resolution, and this gives us 460 pixels per inch, but again, it's only a 60 hertz display. On the front, we get a notch to house the selfie camera and the face ID, and on the back, we've got a dual camera setup with a wide and an ultra wide camera. It will of course be powered by the new A15 Bionic, and we get four gigabytes of RAM and a choice of 64, 120, 28 or 256 storage. It's coming with a 3095 milliamp hour battery with at least 20 watt fast charging and again it does support wireless charging. We get Bluetooth, 5G and Wi-Fi 6 and the phone is going to ship with iOS 15. I'm expecting the iPhone 13 to start from $800 but again I'll update the prices as soon as we get an accurate leak. Next up, we've got the iPhone 13 Pro. With the iPhone 13 Pro, we get a 6.1 inch OLED display, but this time it's got a 2532 by 1170 resolution, which gives us 460 pixels per inch. But on the iPhone 13 Pro, it's gonna be a 120 Hertz LTPO display. On the front, we get a notch to house the selfie camera and the face ID. And on the back, we get a triple camera setup as well as a LiDAR scanner. The configuration is gonna be made up of a wide angle, an ultra wide and a telephoto camera. It will of course be powered by the A15 Bionic and it's expected to come with 6 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128, 256, 512 and even 1 terabyte storage. It's coming with a 3095 milliamp hour battery with at least 20 watt fast charge and wireless charging is supported. We get Bluetooth 5G Wi-Fi 6 and it's of course going to ship with iOS 15. I'm expecting the iPhone 13 Pro to start from around $1050 but again this is is just an estimate. Finally, we have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. With the iPhone 13 Pro Max, we get a 6.7 inch OLED display. It's expected to have 2,778 by 1128 resolution, and this gives us 458 pixels per inch. Now again, this is gonna be a 120 Hertz LTPO display. On the front, we get the notch with selfie camera and face ID, and on the back, we get a triple camera setup plus the LiDAR scanner. The configuration is gonna be made up of a wide, an ultra wide, and a telephone photo camera. Like the Pro, it's coming with the A15 Bionic. It's expected to come with six gigs of RAM and a choice of 128, 256, 512, or one terabyte storage. It's coming with a 4,352 milliamp hour battery. And again, we expect at least 20 watt fast charge as well as wireless charging. We get Bluetooth, 5G, Wi-Fi 6, and the phone ships with iOS 15. Now this is the most premium and we're expecting the iPhone 13 Pro Max to start from around $1,150 but again, I'll confirm this as soon as we get a leak. So it's great that we've got so much information on the iPhone 13 series, and with launch in September, it's not too long until the official reveal from Apple. Thankfully, there is expected to be plenty of stock for the iPhones, and Apple are reportedly not going to be affected by the chip shortage that is causing so many other companies' problems. Now, of course, as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Who out there is excited for the Apple iPhone 13, and what model are you waiting for? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.